What's up guys, I am the best straight edge YouTuber in the world and today I got some expiring, inspiring scripture that I'm going to read from the New Living Transition Bible and let's get to it. So today's scripture is just going to be something inspiring I just read. It's for being a believer, for Jesus, you know it. And for all Christians, this is what we need to do. We need to stand up for Jesus. We need to, wherever we go, if we go out anywhere, if people want to make fun of us, we need to still stay firm and be a believer for Christ and stand up for Him. So I'm going to read from this inspiring scripture I just found. And it's uh, Ephesians 6, 13 through 18. So let me read it. And it's New Living Transition. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body of armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. And put on salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert, be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. So basically it's telling us to put on our armor that God gives us because we are warriors of Christ. Wherever we go, you know, the devil's going to try to get us in the day, maybe the next day or night. I don't know. It might be on the weekend. Who knows? But we, as believers, going to get hated for, you know, people are going to tell us we're, we're not, we're not Christian enough. We're not godly enough. They don't believe in us. Well, that's what it's saying, put on God's armor, you know, put on the helmet, put on the, your sword, put on your shield, you know, and go out there and use God's message to tell everyone that you represent him and you would die for him and you would stand up for him because you will not give in to the devil because we will fight the devil. We are God's warriors and we will stand up firm and be warriors of Christ that God wants us to do because in this world we got evilness we got the devil trying to strike us with temptation he tries to take he tries to get us with you know try to make us angry maybe at a video game or holler at somebody or might call somebody telling them that they're not cool they're they're unworthy uh, or, you know, if you're at school, people might tell you that, you, you know, you're not good enough or you can't do this. Well, don't worry about all that because with that scripture, we put on God's armor, we put on the helmet, we put on the shield, we put on the boots, and we stand firm, and we stand by Him, and we pray for Him every day, and He will get us through everything. I'm telling you, if you're going through a hard time, Stand firm for Jesus. Stand up for Jesus. Don't be ashamed for him. Stand up for him. Be warriors of Christ. Wear his armor. And I'm telling you, he will provide us with future rewards, unbelievable rewards for us. So I hope you like the scripture. And I hope that it inspires you. And I also wanted to say, uh, don't ever give up your dreams. If somebody says you can't make it on American Idol, if you try out for the game show or whatever, don't. Don't do that. Don't ever give up your dreams. Just like that scripture, stand up for Jesus because he will make your dreams come true. And I'm telling you, because I am one of those examples, doors are opening up for me and doors will open up for you. So I love you all. Take care. God bless. Stand up for Jesus. Put on God's armor and, st and be proud to be a Christian and be proud that you're one of his warriors of Christ.
Love you. Take care. God bless. Boom. Peace.